damn it. This is like, this is literally the only game I can play. Before I am forced mm. to collapse on my bed. Collapsing. And then Watch the day. The and then you die. Yes, and then I die. On the bright side though, uh, I've been pretty productive in doing my writing. I write I 100 words a day now on that stupid ass made ex mistress bullshit. 100 words? Yes. I know, that's disappointing. Do you still remember the project that we had to do where we need to make a music video? Writing our own lyrics? Wait, what? In senior high school? No. That sounds like a nightmare. Pro I probably don't remember. If that really happened, then yeah, my brain has definitely <laughs> erased forgotten. It. Erased it, yeah. For my own sanity. <laughs> that reminds me though, I need to bring fucking short bond paper because we're going to be writing an essay in it apparently. Fun. Writing 5,000 words out of my ass when it comes to writing for an essay in a school. No problem. Writing for my fucking stupid Yuri novels. 5,000 words. Real shit. <laughs> I do think in terms of my creative works, I have been kind of evolving backwards. Mm-hmm. You need some writing help? Again? I'm not doing any writing and I don't really need any help. Although, uh, actually, <laughs> my, old, my main problem right now is I I spend too much time thinking of names. Gosh darn, why are names so hard to come up with, you know? I don't know. But other than that, yeah. Writing for the first chapter is going smoothly, surprisingly. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a problem that I kind of just winged everything I did I made back in the day without thinking too much. But now I think too much. Mm-hmm, now you think so too it's, much. So it's like, okay. it's... So, what do you want the name to be It's like? the same what problem, term? but what? different. <laughs> What's the uh, problem? Like, what name? What name you need? You know, like the barons, the twelve of them, like, and how they're based off the Chinese zodiac and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you want their yeah, name? I, I the want a name. name. I want to give all of them names first. The <laughs> parents' just, name. No, just like the family. actual name of the characters. The fucking family names, right? Yes, there's there's okay. like eleven of them. I was thinking they should all be named a after. You should probably, Resty, you should probably list them down somewhere. Like, let's say on Discord so I can actually see them. Yeah, I am. Uh, like, similar to how Rierte Obons is just an anagram for Boston Terrier. And sure, why not? Let me show you what I got worked on. <laughs> Alright, so what was I gonna do? Don't know. Alright, just go to the status screen for now while I do this.
I like O2's banter while in the idol, while in the menu, the most. How much where she's, longer will this take? She's literally just thinking about Little Mermaid. It's adorable. A total simp through and through in every facet of the game. Uh, where are my names? God, I wish Google Docs could be organized. Uh, maybe you can organize it. Maybe. Uh, do, you, do you use Google Docs? Not really, I don't care. I, don't, I will use it if so I need to. Boring. There, there's, I, yeah, exactly. It's fine if... But like, Google Docs is literally the only way I can write while at school. Like, it fucking sucks that they don't have some sort of organizing folder How system much will this take? and shit. <laughs> okay, rather than listing these all out one by one in Discord, I think it's better if I just gave you access. How much longer will this take? Don't worry, Hamlin. <laughs> This will... I'm... So boring... And I... I guess you can... See... And I guess you can read up on their character bios now as well. Anyway, who... Who are the ones I'm having trouble with? I'm... I'm, I'm fine with the pig and the rat bit so uh, inspired. Boring. Uh, character so far, but everyone else below, I am still not very sure of. There's, there's mostly just placeholder names, <laughs> so I at least have something to refer to them while writing my chapters. It's like it feels bad just writing close parentheses, open parentheses, or whatever, because <laughs> that's what I do whenever there's. Uh, there's a word I don't remember or a name that hasn't been decided yet. Why oh, have I done the stupid minigame yet? Welcome. You want to play? Stupid minigame. Ah, yes, I have. Alright, then I guess all that's left is to just go back into the grind, baby. I believe we should almost be done with this stupid dungeon. And the best girl, Gretel, will finally join the party. And I guess her brother, Hansel, too. I really think they missed the prime opportunity to introduce, like, at least a minor villain. I mean, I, for the most part, enjoyed the story of Mary Skelters, the, okay, the trilogy. Uh, I prefer the second. Yeah, okay, Luminal Baron, Baronesses, Doc X. <laughs> This will take you to and they're all women, but Baronesses is quite a mouthful, ain't it? Okay, open it up as we do. Okay, so you need. <laughs> Just names. I don't know. <laughs> if you if you could be so kind, god damn you, Hansel. Why is the year of the pig Ronald here K huh? for year? Uh, it's an anagram, just like Riarte Aubons, oh, I believe, be uh, to the most common breed of pigs. Uh, since she's the first and the easiest enemy we in they encounter, uh, and you know, she's a freaking pig, I thought it made sense that she be named after the pig that gets slaughtered the most for Why our eating pleasure. 
Yes, she's named after a guinea pig since she's... Oh, why Teddy? Hmm? Yeah, know, Teddy is not an person. anagram. It It's straight up just Teddy Guinea. <laughs> That's an actual Teddy name of a bra breed Teddy. of hamster. Teddy just sounds like... Robert I know, it sounds, sounds like it does Robert. sound too masculine for a name. Who would want to oppress you? Yes. Eh? And how would you feminize the name Teddy? I don't know. Or maybe you could... Think you could come up with a better fucking name for a rat? Jerry? What? You know, J for, the mo for the longest time I actually thought Jerry was a girl. It turns out he's no. a guy. Why? Why would you think Jerry is a girl? It just makes a lot of sense in my head back yeah. then. So, why did you choose specifically Teddy? Hmm? Uh, I believe if I remember correctly from my research, it's the... It's the breed of hamster that's trained, uh, that's most suitable uh, for being a pet or something. Because they can get along with having other, if you have other animals as pets or something. And I think that's like an important part of her character is that she kind of has a knack for making people get along or something. Hmm. Even though she's a crazy sci science psycho. Hmm. With a crazy well, science Teddy? psycho assistant. Huh? Why Teddy? Again, when I hear Teddy, you want what I think about? I, I think about freaking Freddy, honestly. <laughs> when I hear Teddy or see it, what I think about is Roosevelt, the, pre the US president, next day. Huh. I I don't yeah. know anything about presidents. You wanna know why? Why? <laughs> he got the nickname Teddy Roosevelt because he likes a teddy bear. Nice. He likes teddy bear. <laughs> That's wholesome. Well, maybe. And it he is. just likes teddy bear. And he brings he brings a teddy bear while he While he what? He hunts. <laughs> oh, okay. That's pretty weird, but okay. <laughs> That's the fucking dead president, Rashi. Yes, I believe I'll go call my nearest freaking dead calling person. What do you call those guys again? The stupid bitches that says they that claim they can talk to the dead. Uh, necromancers. Uh, those guys straight up bring the dead back to life. Occultists. That's that's Cam. an. I swear I there's a term for it, but well, whatever. Here they come. <laughs> Leave it to me. No, I re I really don't have a problem with Teddy. <laughs> It's just you, and probably every other person who will read my novel. Okay, okay. Teddy might be okay, but what about Ronald? <laughs> hmm? Uh, the, the pig? Ronald is a guy named Rest. Ronald McDonald. <laughs> ah, yes. Right, uh... Herkes Sawyer, uh, her last name, her middle and last name is the pig thingy, but Rona Ronald is a reference to Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's an anagram for Arnold. I don't know why. Why? <laughs> why Arnold? I don't know why I actually forgot why I named her after Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Why? What did I all do? I don't know, he's pretty badass. <laughs> yeah, but the way you're your fucking making the pig, you know, burst 
antagonist doesn't sound badass. No, it, it doesn't. <laughs> so, you want to think of a new name? <laughs> Maybe we can keep Hercosaur. <laughs> but yes. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Oh, I, I guess a more fitting name would be nice to have. I don't know why you make girl names, like, fucking names for girls, like, guy names. Interesting. Why do you, you keep you making can guy see, names? You can see now why I fucking take so long coming up with names. Because I clearly okay, suck what, at them. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck do you want the pig name to be like? <laughs> Uh, honestly, at this point, I just want it to sound like a name. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Something pleasing to say and read and write, hopefully. Kirkusaur is not easy to write, but it does sound nice, so I'm fine with it. <laughs> hmm. So we need to make it like sound royalty, and we need to say make it sound like you know they're very fucking smug, and we need to make them sound like an asshole, right? Ah, uh, yeah, true. That should be a fitting. That should be a theme amongst all the barons. Hmm. This Grace Knight that's trying to get main motivation for oh, attacking the yeah. Athens. Britain. Huh? Britain. Can you repeat that? The jail is screaming really loudly. Brittany Hercules Sawyer. Brittany. I, I guess that works. Or if you want, you can go for Ashley, I guess. Eh, Ashley too boring. <laughs> it is. Plus, I have, I have a relative's relative named Ashley. So, what about the fucking rat, Gunny, Teddy Gunny? Yes. Well, originally I was gonna name her Penny as a reference to Advance Wars, but I didn't think anyone would actually get that reference, so I decided I want to name her something else. Mm. And Teddy was what came up next, which is actually once Good again honey. a reference Leave it to, me. to Advance Wars. Because the character Penny has a teddy bear doll named oh. Teddy. <laughs> What if... And uh, I was thinking of Grace Gunny. Grace skin. I mean, that, that fits enough. Mice do have Grace skin. Mm. Yeah. Being on the nose on the reference isn't something I care about. In fact, I like it. But it's on the nose and obvious what the reference is. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyways, what's the ox? The ox attack was the main do with Julia's on I what's haven't fleshed out the ox mm -hmm. that much yet. You need to give some, you know, actual, like, uh, yeah, I was what thinking, they do. I was thinking about her while I was writing the first chapter uh, on school and yeah. stuff, and I've actually decided I kind of want her, I, I might want her to die. Firstly, the thing is, you, you write characters, you don't write what they do, you need to write what they are. But what they write... do is kind of their character. If yes, I write, if I write like it. stuff like their personality and then it ends up never being used, then that I'm just wasting my time. Because they are just so minor they, characters. Yeah. Most of them are not going to appear again once they're, oh, once they're defeated, honestly. <laughs> as far as... What the? At least I think so. Hmm? So what's the ox gonna be? Personality what? Ox's arc. 
cows, right? Well, according to the Chinese zodiacs stuff I read about, the uh, oxes, like, they care for their family or whatever, and they're really protective. They are, uh, whatchamacallit, the other thing, very defensive with their home. Yeah, and oxes. I honestly don't know anything about oxes. I just think they're pe they're cows, but different. Oxes. Let's go. Friends, the oxes are our national animal. <laughs> oh. I again. You I... know when you do you remember when you were in cow and you know how you need to, to tie. Uh, I'm here. Towel, not towel. Uh, fucking handkerchief. And then, you know, you put a badge thingy that holds the hang of the place, and you use an ox. Again, I, I've i always thought of oxes as just cows. Well, they are cows, but, you know, they're a different animals. Yes, I am, I am aware that they are indeed. But it's just like, I never saw the need to differentiate oh, them. <laughs> Why would everything be baronesses? Why won't there be barons? Huh? Yeah, I'm still thinking about that. But for the most part, I, I don't want any men on my story. <laughs> Just a personal preference. I know, but you know, like an ox. Yeah, it's kind of, you know, hard to write an ox as a girl. And, you know, Why not? You There's plenty of cowgirls. Cow <laughs> yeah, there is like a cowgirl. Cows are there for. Also, you're, they need to have a rivalry with the tiger. Yeah. Oh, why did the why does the rabbit and the dragon happen? There's the tigress. Oh, the dragon. I don't have anything written there because she's supposed to pair up with the rooster. Why not call the dragon Holly instead of Holy? Yes, that is sort of the intention. I guess I forgot to put in the other L. Yes. Leave it to me. <laughs> Don't worry about nice it. <laughs> Alice Tenio. Why Alice Tenio? Why is, what it's, is an Arche Arche it's an Archaea reference. There's a character in Archaea named Alice Tenio. Tenio, okay. Again, that's a placeholder name. <laughs> This is all What sounds like a rabbit? Uh, I was I thinking know, of is... things like hair, Fire. rabbit, bunoi. It's a hair. Sarah. <laughs> a hair? Sarah? Uh, huh? I don't know. Sarah sounds like a rabbit. Dang it. You know. Sarah sounds like a rapid name, maybe. Yeah, uh, the other reason I went with Alice, we, I kind of want to do a reference uh, to Alice in Wonderland or some other sort of children's picture book or whatever. With the rabbit. Based on how I want to write her or not. Or actually, her name could be some sort of reference to Phoenix Wright or something, and that her name could just actually describe what she does in the story or something. <laughs> like, uh, I did it is her name. I did it. <laughs> Dits or something. <laughs> something stupid like that. <laughs> I just wanted I, I really just want to write a freaking lawyer whatever a courtroom drama <laughs> that's something I've always wanted to do <laughs> mm. uh, fucking I am not doing a good job conserving my resources. Mm -hmm.
I mean, you can look up breeds. That's always a good idea. What? Or like rabbits, or are there breeds of oxes? Or is ox itself the breed? Because if that's the case, then can't really go for the anagram of the breed. <laughs> if that's the case. There are breeds of rabbits, Resty. Some are bred for fucking, you know, meat. And some are bred as pets. Yes, I am aware. And Unfortunately, right now, I'm not very knowledgeable. I see where you took the... Welcome. Is the... There's a hull and lop. There's a what? A mini lop. English lop. So a lop is a rabbit. How do you spell that? Anything else? L O P L O P lop. Ah, uh, that word like the name Lopani came from in Pokemon. Probably. Yeah, probably. It is probably a Hmm. Lopani. Lucky me. There's a Vegas rabbit, a Trianta. Uh, a Turinger, a Gotland, a Hulstlander, a Lilac Rabbit, an Enderby Rabbit, a Rhinander, obviously there's Chinchillas, Mini Satin, Silver Rabbit, Himalayan, Beveren, New Zealand, Palomino, hmm. Rannish, I haven't Changora. written it there, just that I want I want her arc to be all about lawyer bullshit. So but what's the rabbit, the rabbit is, supposed to be? The rabbit's personality is supposed to be like this cunning, like cute on the outside, but she's like this really smart and conniving uh, girl. Yeah, what they, rabbits what they are animals of prey, so they need to be clever if they want to live. <laughs> So I've decided her character is uh, this person that's always hiding uh, her true self and stuff and always scheming. Mm, there's a Harlequin rabbit, Resty. That could work. But Harlequin sounds more like a jester. Yes, plus there's already the Batman character. I mean, we can always uh, we can always do an anagram of it. What's like a There's what's a, like a cool anagram for Harlequin? Ooh, um, this one sounds fancy, Resty. It's Argente. What's that? It's a rabbit. <laughs> I see. Yes, it does uh, sound spelled, pretty cool. It's spelled like this: A R G E N T, and the last e, the one with a comma on top. Huh. Argente. Come. Yeah, putting an accent sounds fun. <laughs> Although it will it be a bitch to type. Not really. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, not a bitch to type on mobile, but I guess on PC it is. <laughs> I have a I have a international keyboard. It's actually not that hard to write an accent on keyboard. <laughs> But you know, extra steps. <laughs> Here I go. This should do it. I'll crush you. Oh. That was a close one. Mm. Praise me. Finally, it's, it's over. Genuinely right. lost. What's the next thing, Christy? There's a silver oh. Martin rabbit. Uh, Why what? did you name the horse Holster Wool? The what? H horse Holster Wool. Wool. It's a reference. It's a JoJo reference. There's a character in JoJo named Hall Horse. Yeah, it just doesn't work, man. 
No, it does. It's these a placeholder are, these name. Are be, these are supposed to be names for girls. <laughs> yes, I know. And again, it's <laughs> for some reason Resty, I. Why? Why? The goat, Resty. Why is it oats cereal? <laughs> <laughs> Again, it's just a placeholder name. I really suck at naming girls, apparently. Why is the rooster Dino Rex? Hmm. It, she is the final enemy, and uh, you know, chickens are an ancestor of dinosaurs, and she is supposed to be paired with a dragon, another dinosaur like Why reptile. Why can we enough. just be alone by themselves? Hmm? No, it's, it, it's just, there's like two pair, uh, there's like two group pairs, that's the rooster and the dragon, I and I believe the monkey gets paired as well. Oh no, it's the horse and the goat, they're, they are, they're uh -huh. paired, but that's, it, it's just those two. Is it actually? Anyway, so are you, been, have, are you editing the shit? That's what you're doing this or no? Yeah, I am editing. I am recording a Let's Play right now, so there's no real rush for me. Mm -hmm. So obviously you're gonna change... You already changed the pig. You're gonna change the... Maybe change the teddy for the rat. Uh, go look uh, through those the rabbit breeds. Only for the option player. So, it's kind of hard to make character names without knowing, you know, their personality centric. Yeah, exactly. That is indeed the other problem, eh? <laughs> I need to flesh right. out their character a bit more. I'm here. We need this name to have, like, S on their name, you know? A what? S. We need snake, the snake to have S's in their name. Yeah, that seems really fitting it's enough. Man. <laughs> I want her to have a menacing name if possible. Since uh, she's supposed to be a really powerful enemy. Her ability is like the stop time or whatever I haven't decided yet. I just know I want it you to know, be overpowered. It's really hard to make female names that are menacing, except for Karen. You know? <laughs> what about what about Lady Dimitrescu? That's pretty menacing, right? It's possible. It's mostly because D Dimitrescu is the fucking last name, Resty. That's her. She has a first. She has a fucking first name. Her first name is Lady. We don't know her first name. Exactly, we, we, we don't know the I don't know. I don't remember if... Because I, I fucking played Resident Evil Village with Mum. And I, I read all the, all the lore her, and stuff. Her first name is Alcina. Ah, right. Alcina Dimitrescu. Yeah, that, is, that sounds correct. <laughs> but we need S's for the snake name, no? Yes, yeah, and I can't just go stealing. I'm fucking resting with evil. I ask for snakes. Why are you showing me dogs? What? Google. <laughs> it's showing me terror years. And I could just go for the boring name of Serpent? No. <laughs> you're going, you're, you can put that on her last name, but the first name needs something else. <laughs> ah, cool. it can just, that can just be her last name. Sure, we'll go with that. Let me write that down right now. What if she's a cobra snake? Then she'll have two breeds named after her. <laughs> I know. So or what's the snake is. in, you know, what's the snake in Chinese mythology? 
I do not quite remember. Let me Is look it, it up. Fucking snake? This is like any snake. Can it be an uh, anaconda snake? <laughs> the biggest snake? Well, the characters are inspired both from the animal themselves in as they are scientifically in nature, but also based on the Chinese mythology. And uh, I know, but according to Chinese mythology. No. And according to Chinese mythology, I should know this. I'm here of the snake, right? Yeah, fucking. If I remember correctly, they're like introverted and they make for good leaders apparently as well as they're very smart or whatever what if what if their name is Vipera like Vipera ah oh, yes that sounds pretty cool sounds pretty badass again that makes her named after uh, I mean, what's like a synonym for snake? Are there other ways people call snakes? <laughs> like... Well, they call them noodles. Danger noodles. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> Vipera noodles, yes. Most menacing. <laughs> I mean, what about eels? They are just water snakes. <laughs> True. So, hmm. there's pythons, there's boa, there's, you know, snakes, uh, what else are there? Boa, boa constrictors, and there's, you know, kind of, like, yeah, it's just snake, python, and viper, there's mamba, you know, black mambas. You know, I'm gonna focus entirely on coming up with names with you now, and I'm gonna end this Let's Play video short. 